let's just deal with the the issue first of of the steam packet as you will know that debate when we had the approval in may signaled our intentions to fulfill a number of commitments to um Timwald, uh to ensure that that that, that Timwald was properly engaged and vis-a-vis -vis the public were properly engaged in this matter uh, those commitments included producing a shareholder, produ producing the shareholder agreements, allowing Timwell to approve the uh, directors of the uh, steam packet included, uh, obviously Timwell approval for uh, the user agreement. Now, uh, those commitments are, are underway. Uh, they are being pursued. And sorry, another the other critical commitment was to make sure that we were uh, had Timwell approval for the future financing of the, the steam packet. So. Those, all those items are underway. You may have seen, of course, that the Department of Infrastructure has been out um, to ask people for their views yeah. on, on the user agreement. Uh, and, of course, clearly we will update everybody as, 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 as time progresses on. But uh, there is a certain time pressure for us to get on and get these things done so that, that we're all... The island is happy that the steam packet is, is fit fit for its future challenges uh, and I'm keen to ensure that we complete those exercises as soon as possible. With regards to Liverpool, uh, yes, we have a... Because of the delays, effectively, that have gone on without actually signing uh, uh, the proposed deal with, with Peel Group um, and, of course, now the challenge of getting the uh, planning application, design and planning application through and then getting this uh, terminal built... Uh, that does create a p small period, a small window of uncertainty for the Iron Man Steam Packet Company. So the chief executive continues to engage uh, with uh, the relevant authorities in Liverpool and with Peel Ports uh, to try and achieve uh, a solution if this, uh, if the construction of the uh, terminal overruns. But you know, this to a certain From degree. From Liverpool's point of view, the construction of uh, the expanded uh, cruise well, they, they, terminals they, they, could be their they, big they, priority. They isn't will it? have that priority. Clearly, that's one of the issues that needs to be worked around. Um, we're going to try and find a solution for that. Um, and uh, if that can't be achieved with in the, the existing docking area, then the other options will have to be considered on a, on a short term basis. And that may mean, for example, that uh, another area within. Uh, the Liverpool port is is designated, if if possible, for for landing or uh, the steam packet. You look at alternatives in terms of the shipping arrangements, or you know the actual tra the ships that are transporting, or or alternatively, you know for a short term period, we may even have to you know utilise Haitian, Haitian. But these are you know business problems that occasionally come to fruition. Um, you know, the delay in reaching agreement has been hugely unfortunate because that has brought uh, additional pressure on the company. But the company, uh, I'm confident, are well aware of uh, the issue uh, and are continuing to engage to try and reach a, a solution. So it does cause it's undoubtedly a little bit of uncertainty, but this is not a problem that we cannot overcome, find a resolution to uh, and ensure that, that if there is a hiccup, with Liverpool, that we that with the existing landing stage, that that we find the appropriate solution.